In 1850, in the town of Koprivnice, Czech Republic, a man named Ignaz Schustela started building horse-drawn carriages. He had no idea he was laying the foundation for one of the world's oldest car makers. By 1897, the company, then called Nesselsdorfer Wagenbau, built the President, the first petrol-powered car in Central and Eastern Europe. It was the dawn of something extraordinary. In 1923, engineer Hans Ledwinka introduced the Tatra 11 with a backbone chassis and swinging half axles. It was rugged, simple and decades ahead of its time. Then came the Tatra 77 in 1934, the world's first aerodynamic production car, with a rear-mounted, air-cooled V8 and a drag coefficient that would make modern cars jealous. It looked like it drove out of a science fiction novel. During the Second World War, Tatra's trucks like the Tatra 111 became legends, tough, air-cooled and able to go where others couldn't. They were used by both the Axis and later the Soviets for post-war rebuilding. In the Cold War era, Tatra sedans like the T603 and T613 became the ride of choice for Eastern Bloc elites. They were fast, futuristic and forbidden fruit in the West. Today, Tatra doesn't build passenger cars but its off-road trucks are still unmatched. With backbone chassis and air-cooled engines, they dominate in places where roads don't exist. From carriages to streamliners, from rally raids to military missions, Tatra's story is one of fearless engineering and quiet brilliance. It didn't follow trends, it invented them. So, what other car brands shaped the future before the world was ready? Stay tuned.